Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a very beautiful morning out here on the eastern tip of the Big Island. And that ocean is dead calm today. Very unusual. Absolutely beautiful. So that opening scene was two mornings ago, and as the crow flies, probably right about 10 miles from here is all. But the difference between being at sea level and up here at 1,200 and some feet, uh, it's a different climate, climate zone. The Big Island here has many different climate zones. Uh, most of the climate zones that exist on Earth can be found here on this island. So. Yeah, it was beautiful down there, uh, and that day was actually beautiful up here as well, but now dark and rainy conditions are persisting, and I'm having to jockey my power around a little bit, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I don't mo mind moving batteries or extension cords around to keep me off the generator, which I still am uh, happily able to announce. I have not used that generator for any of my power needs. And that's always my goal. So yeah, I'm gonna have to move things around probably a little bit today. And today is kind of a day of rest for me. I've been busy uh, the last few weeks for sure. And I'm just gonna take it easy today. So about as hard as I'm gonna have to work is stretch out an extension cord from one place to the other. So right here is my battery and system that is running my 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And it is down to 34%. It's slightly charging. And it's actually doing a little better than I would think under these conditions. I'm getting 130 watts off of a 700 watt array. So I'm gaining a little bit. And this system running my freezer, five cubic foot refreezer, uh, 44%. Charging a little bit, not too bad. And out of a 500 watt array, I'm getting 93 watts. These are actually better values than I thought I was gonna see. And just to be ready for, uh, especially the refrigerator freezer battery, which may or may not get me through the night, we'll see. But I've got my little portable power station here right next to the refrigerator freezer, 90. 4% full, a whopping 10 watts coming in off of 200 watt array. And here's that portable array that I've got plugged into that power station. So uh, the sky is actually getting a little bit lighter right now. So I am going to catch some solar. A little while ago, it was so dark that I was getting almost zero off of all of my arrays, but the conditions change pretty quickly out here, so I might I might do better than I thought today. But I always just keep, you know, a couple of other systems ready to go just so I don't have to worry about it and I don't have to ever go out and pull the cord on the generator. So yeah, that portable power station can, you know, run me for a full day if I need to. And in the meantime, I've got other things I could slide into place too. And I went ahead and left this battery tied up that I did a review on the other day. And I've got it with my little testing inverter out here ready to go. And if we look at the app, yeah, that thing's sitting there at 100% full. And I know I can get, you know, over 24 hours running my refrigerator freezer on that. So that's ready to go at a moment's notice. And all I'd have to do is drag my uh, extension cord out here, plug it in and I'm good to go. So that's ready to go. The portable power station's ready to go as well. Feeling pretty good. I'm gonna be able to rest up pretty good today and not have to worry about anything. And up there in my shop, the Bungaloha, I have four batteries, 100% uh, full, charged up. Uh, I don't wanna ever have to walk up there and haul one down here, but if I had to, I could. And in the past couple of weeks, I've had probably a couple of feet of rain <laughs> at least. Uh, I need to get a gauge out here so I can really start sharing with you guys exactly how much it rains. It rains a good deal out here, especially this time of year. 
and that's good. The water situation is good. All my catchment tanks are overflowing, so there's comfort in that. And I have surplus power, actually, for these low-light days as well, so I feel good about that. Oh, yeah, and what about the chins? I need to go back there and see what they're doing. I haven't looked at those in a couple of days. So they're reading at 51.8% full. This is a 300 amp hour bank. That's not quite right. I need to reset that. Uh, I had to disconnect it the other day and I haven't reset set it. So it's a little higher than that actually. And I'll just take a look at that one on the right, uh, which I call my lower string, 5170 some watts coming in off of a 500 watt array voltage up to 13.5. So yeah, the, the true state of charge is a little higher than 50 some percent. I'll wait for it to get back to 100% full after it goes through the absorption and into float. And then I'll reset that to tell it it's 100% full. But yeah, I had to uh, disconnect it briefly the other day and I lost track of my state of charge. So I'll reset that, but pretty good. So I'm going to call that my day's work today. I've walked around, looked at all my systems. I already have an idea. What I might have to do is stretch out an extension cord and that'll be about the extent of it. So, uh, and I don't even know I'll have to do that because these conditions are always fast changing out here. It's not going to be a great solar day, but as always, I've got backups for the backup. So I'm not going to have to break a sweat today. Because today we rest, huh? Yeah. All right. That's you, buddy. Huh? <laughs> so let it drizzle, let it rain. Whatever it does today, it's okay. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Just a little day of rest update. Aloha, everybody. Hope you're all well.